hi welcome back to my channel or if you are new then welcome my name is Sophie Payne and I do pretty much all things plus size vlogging a little bit of makeup a little bit of hair a little bit of everything and I would love it if you hit the subscribe button and the bell and yeah so today I'm doing something that I've not done before and I'm so so excited I'm gonna be recreating the pretty little thing advert slash model outfits um and this is no shade to pretty little thing it's just that pretty little thing like standard outfits just aren't aren't the sort of thing that I would wear like I'm pretty like pretty like grungy alternative I actually hate all those words but that's probably how I would describe myself and pretty little things fashion is like it's incredible and when i see people in it i love it but it's so far from the sort of thing i wear so i thought let's order loads of pretty little thing-esque outfits try them on and let's just see what they're like because i might surprise myself and i might absolutely love them so that's what we're going to do today and I'm so excited and I just want to say really quickly that this is absolutely no shade to Pretty Little Thing and no shade to anyone that wears Pretty Little Thing clothing um, because I've got loads of things from Pretty Little Thing. It's just these are like the proper advert model extreme outfits and I honestly think what Pretty Little Thing do is fantastic because they're plus size range is very much an extension of their straight size range and it's quite difficult to find that in the plus size market carrying that size in through from literally like a size four four or six to like a 26 28 and um, so i do think that's absolutely fantastic and that's it i'm just going to get straight into it because i am so so excited okay so the first outfit is this one here it is a, a lilac satin corset with some lilac waterproofs <laughs> is the only way i can describe them um i haven't actually got the shoes for this one i couldn't find them and a diamante choker and yeah this couldn't actually get further from an outfit i would wear okay so let's see what it looks like on on from pretty little thing doesn't fit around my neck so this is what i had years ago from with roiland and chokers just aren't comfortable are they this is the top <laughs> i mean how can we not concentrate on this um this is the top which i mean i'm putting my hair there intentionally it's like a satin corset but with zero like control or anything in it and you couldn't wear a bra with it because of this situation i mean potentially like a stick on one but it's not great for any form of boob and then i feel like we need a moment for these trousers which they kind of remind me of when we used to go on holiday to a caravan in wales and my mum used to make us put waterproofs over our trousers if they if we were going to go in the brook kind of reminds me of that kind of reminds me of like a builder or like a road work worker but despite the fact that this outfit is borderline the most ridiculous thing i've ever put on my body despite that 
the sizing on these, these are a 26 and they are so tight, so see-through, literally like skin tight. So the sizing is also shit. Okay, right. Next up we've got this outfit here. And this one is a little bit grungier, but still a little bit out of my comfort zone. And it is some camo joggers, which I actually really, really like. Some camo joggers with these big, beefy boots. Um, but they're like that sort of Timberland boot. Like, I'm all about like a big, chunky boot, but more like a Doc Martin Grebo boot. Whereas this is very much like a like that timberland desk kind of boot and then the it has like a crop scuba top which just looks like the top of a wetsuit with like a zip up and like a little stand-up collar and then these glasses which are i must say borderline ridiculous where you can like just like peep over the top yeah i'm not not sure of what what function they're going to give you but there we go so Let's get into it. Uh, okay, so this is the next outfit. Let's start at the top. These glasses are the most random thing in the world because like, they're literally like half a, half a, they just don't cover the eye. I don't feel like they've thought about protecting the retinas in this whole situation. However, um, they would be quite good for on holiday and you're reading a book but you also keep peering up to see when they refill the snack bar. I think it would be good for that because you could be like peering up at they doing the snack bar but also reading your book through the lens. Um, a bit like a very focal. Um, so that's the glasses. I'm going to take those off. Next is this top, which is made of scuba, and I feel like would be great if you were going surfing. Um, it's like a proper full on wetsuit, and I mean, I can't really knock it, it's all right. And then we've got the joggers, which to be honest. I feel like potentially I would wear, but with like some sort of Grebo band t-shirt. And then I need to move you down to the shoes. These are the shoes and I actually feel like I'm going to war. Um, they are the heaviest, clunkiest boots, but they do again have a high vis stripe um, for if you're walking in the dark and you're concerned about road accidents yeah i think outfit number two highly functionable okay outfit number three is this one here and this is some um gray tracksuit bottoms which i'm fine with um, a grey sweatshirt with like a slogan on says bed of roses and I am all about like comfy cash so I feel like I might like this one um, some big chunky white trainers which I do actually quite like and then some cat eye white sunglasses and some great big hoops so maybe I'll like this one I mean <laughs> I like to think that I suit the majority of glassy shapes, but this 100% isn't, isn't, isn't one of them. This jumper, I actually kind of liked and thought, you know what, I might end up keeping that. But the weird thing is, it looks quite oversized on the website. However, this is a size 26 and I've honestly had to like squeeze it on, like it doesn't fit around here it's so tight and i'm not joking i have got 
jumpers from Topshop that are a size 16 that are bigger than this. Like, I can't understand the sizing. Again, the joggers, they're like, don't pull up properly. They're really, really, really tight. Like, the sizing is just completely random. Also, the jumper and the joggers don't match, but they were in, like, the recommended section to go together. So that's a, a little bit weird. And then we've got another pair of shoes. We've got these nice white trainers here. Which, to be honest, I mean, I don't hate them, um, but I don't think, I don't think I'll keep them. I don't know. I think if I get some, I want to get some, like, proper Nike ones rather than, like, pretty little thing version. But they're all right, and to be fair, wide foot, they fit perfectly. Um, but this outfit, I mean, I thought this would be the one I like, but this could be the worst of the lot. Okay, outfit number four is this one here. And this is a little crop top, white ribbed crop top that says Icy in Diamantes um, with some really baggy lilac track pants, track pants? No, like combat pants um, with like loads of pockets and things on and um, which really remind me of do you remember in the 90s and people wore them combat trousers and they had like all the pieces coming off my friend broke a toe in a pair of them um, they really remind me of them uh one of these big diamante clips in the hair and then one of these little bags that I just cannot get on board with because literally my handbag is just absolutely rammed full of random things and I feel like a little bit of a mom where like if someone needs a plaster I've got it I've got like EpiPens, Pop, a cheese cob, a spare pair of pants like you name it I've got it in my handbag and 100% that's not going to apply with this handbag here. So, we'll see. Um, but this is probably the outfit I'm most nervous for. So, let's see how that goes. Okay, so this is the next outfit. And I'm actually using my hair to cover my nipples again. Um, so... The sizing's better, <laughs> which is something. <laughs> I can't, I actually can't. These trousers, to be fair, are really comfortable. And imagine all the things you could carry around in all these extra pockets. I mean, I'm not sure what this one is. Um, and this is my highly functional handbag that I'm not sure. I mean, maybe I need so many pockets because nothing fits in my handbag. I mean, maybe that's the, the idea. But this is the top. It says Icy, which, I mean, I'm not really sure what that means. But... There we go. Uh, and then I got, I quite like the hair clip. I mean, the hair clip's all right, isn't it? And this handbag is ridiculous and absolutely pointless to anybody in the world. The trousers, to be fair, the sizing's quite good. Again, I got everything in a 26. Maybe I got the top in a 24, actually. Um, but all the bottoms in a 26. And they actually fit all right. They just... I mean, they don't look great. I don't feel like lilac's probably my colour. Um, and they're also so, so long. So long. And, yeah. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> so, that's it. That is me trying pretty little things advert slash model outfits out and I mean I think I might keep the camo joggers 
so that's something um I like the chunky trainers they've sort of won me over and I might actually go and get like a nice pair of chunky trainers now but I couldn't really get on board with the rest however it's been quite fun trying it out and again like I say I love it when like plus size girls are wearing this kind of fashion but just so not me that I just wanted to try it out so thank you so much for watching subscribe if you haven't already hit the notifications button if you haven't already follow me on instagram if you haven't already and yeah i will see you very soon for the next video which hopefully won't be as horrific <laughs>